What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another local band, Smokeout. I'm your host, BG. And uh, every time I go to a concert or a band that I've not seen before, I like to do like a my experience of what uh, what went on at that show. And I last night attended the Linda Lindas in this order: the Linda Lindas Rancid Smashing Pumpkins Green Day concert, which was absolutely friggin' incredible. Uh, but I do have uh, some some highs and lows to report on that. Let's kind of just go in order. So it was at SoFi Stadium. I don't know how many people that stadium holds, but it's where the Chargers and the Rams play. Feel, feels like twenty five to 30,000 people or so could probably sit in there. Um, and it was sold out. So it was, they don't have, you don't sit obviously behind the stage in these things, but I don't know. It felt like a good 16, 17,000 people were there. Uh, so Linda Linders are on first. They come on at 530. Everyone's kind of walking in when they were playing. But I have a serious beef with this with uh the linda linda's record label and then i found out uh, i did some research i found out that they're signed to epitaph records and uh they're obviously the opening band the smaller unknown band a lot of people don't know who they are i wasn't really familiar with them and they did fantastic there's like they're like a 14 15 16 18 year old family um that that's kind of like a foreign asian punk is i guess how i would describe it but they, they kicked ass but the problem i has I had is I went to three different merch areas. Now the merch areas at these kinds of festivals, you know, there's 50,000 t-shirts and, and they got all the bands in one tent, except the Linda Lindas had no merch anywhere. And I'm not even joking with you guys anywhere. I went all over the place looking for Linda Linda's merch and I couldn't find any. So I tweeted epitaph and I basically said like, the fuck are you doing sending this band on tour? an opening for 15 20 000 people every day and they don't have any merch it doesn't make any sense how are they supposed to make money on this tour so i have a problem with that regarding epitaph everything else about the show was amazing uh, i'll show you guys a bunch of footage here in a second but and then rancid uh rancid played and uh i have never seen rancid even though all the war tours i've been to i've never seen rancid before uh they haven't lost a step they were fantastic of course they played time bomb ruby soho um and a couple other old jams they were awesome uh smashing pumpkins were third and i thought the smashing pumpkins were pretty good i'm not really the biggest pumpkins fan but i definitely you know enjoy a bunch of singles that they had they did not play my they probably played like 16 songs or so um and uh they did not play my favorite song which is i as odd as this is i don't know the title of it it's either the beginning is the end is the beginning or the end is the beginning is the end it's off of one of the batman movie soundtracks and it was a single for them uh, they did not play that one. That's okay. They still did pretty good. Billy Corgan's voice held up, I think, most of the show. But the obviously the headliner, Green Day, and they were there to tour uh, Dookie and American Idiot in its entirety. And I kid you not, guys, Green Day played 38 songs. 38 songs. And um, the, the thing I took away from this show, though, is I was unaware... As crazy as this is going to sound, I've been a Green Day fan for like 30 years, but I've never i would never seen him live. As crazy as this is, I th was unaware of how good of a front man Billy Joe Armstrong is. And, and you're probably like, that's crazy. How did you not realize that? I understand. But hear me out. His voice. I didn't even see him take a sip of water the entire set. And his voice was it held perfectly throughout the entire show. There's multiple times in the show when when he would just go up there and play. No, Trey and Mike weren't up there. He would just do an acoustic song. He'd probably play like four or five acoustic songs. And those are fairly hard when you're running around on stage doing all the yelling and screaming and hit records in between. So I was really, really, really impressed with Green Day. Um, um, let's see. The, the uh, One of the highlights for me is that there's somewhere on the Dookie CD, there's like a skit where Trey does like an unusual vocal it's like a 30 40 second skit or something they performed that they performed every song on dookie and american idiot no matter if it was a skit or an intermission or not they played every single one uh so i thought that was kind of a fun uh fun thing for them to do and of course they ended with a uh, good riddance time of your life a uh, fantastic show 
I would go in order. I would say Linda Linda's were like a 9.3. Uh, they were really, really good live. Um, Rancid was like a 9.5. Pumpkins, I'd put it like like an 8.8, eight, 8.9. Eight, eight, but that's just me being picky because I'm not a huge Bashing Pumpkins fan. And uh, Green Day, though, is 100% a 10 out of 10. Their, their live show was incredible. Um, I didn't notice any mistakes whatsoever. The only issue I, that I did not, I obviously didn't deduct anything from the score, but, uh, I sat like, if, if you guys are the stage and my hand back here is like the farthest away you can sit, I'm like somewhere in the middle, direct middle facing the stage. So we had a good view, but we were, we were fairly far away, uh, me and my homie. And, uh, the only thing I noticed like mix wise is whenever Trey would hit his toms, his toms would be like, like an 808 hit just booming throughout the stadium. It was so, his toms were mixed so loud and bass heavy that it would drown out stuff. Like when he would do like, and do like rolls on, on the drums, it would drown out like everything else that's happening. And then when he wasn't touching the toms, it was like this booming bass just disappeared. And now I can finally hear everything. Uh, but that's not his fault. That's just a mixer. And it probably doesn't sound that way, depending on where you sit in the stadium. Overall, it was fantastic. Enjoy the footage, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Just put a scrub and dance on the ground Will you say hello for me?